Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course V-Ray 5 Masterclass, your complete guide to V-Ray 4 3ds Max. It's a massive 15 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of V-Ray 4 3ds Max thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. And finally, let's go for a metal shader. So create a new V-Ray material and assign it. Let's use the gold preset to get us started. I'm just going to make the color a bit less saturated with the RGB values of 243, 207, and 121. For the roughness, let's add a V-Ray bitmap node and load this BW underscore metal underscore zero two. Temporarily, let's connect it directly to the reflection roughness to see how it looks. And I'm going to set its RGB color space to raw as it is a data input and we are in ACES. Increase the tiling to 1.5 and 1.5. And I'm going to set the W angle to 125 to give the scratches a bit of diagonal direction. As always, let's use an output map before connecting the texture to the reflection roughness input. Enable color map, set the Y value for the first uh, point to 0 0.05 and for the second point to 0 0.4. I'm just going to change the point types to Bezier corners and add a bit of bulge to make the values of the map less contrasty. Uh, by now you should know why we actually decrease the Y values, for example, for the second point. Uh, we changed it from 1 to 4, therefore the uh, brighter values of the map got quite darker and when used as the roughness map or reflection roughness map, uh, they should end up making the surface uh, less rough or much sharper. Now for the bump map, connect the original roughness texture to the bump input of a very normal node. and connect the normal node to the bump input of the V-Ray material. And let's decrease the bump amount to 0 0.02. Finally, we can steal the unevenness combo from the plastic or the wood shader. and connect it to the normal map input of the normal node and set the normal amount to around 0.25. Let me stop the IPR and show you the final render. Just make sure the noiser is disabled so we can see all the details for this render. It's a nice shader. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.